Hi friends, I'm Anuradha and in this lecture we'll be setting up Grafana on Windows. This is in continuation to our previous lectures where we set up InfluxDB on Windows and then further to that we followed our steps to begin with Influx database, sample database and in this lecture what we will be doing, we'll be following steps which are also mentioned on my blog qmistone.com and we'll be downloading and installing Grafana and further to that we'll add data source and in this data source we'll add the database which we have imported in our previous lecture and we'll have a quick look at the creation of data uh, dashboard and uh, we'll add graph which will display data from this data source okay so let's get started so first thing is to download grafana so we'll go to this link it's very simple and easy and we'll select our system windows okay and it will download MSI and we just have to follow instruction that's it okay we don't have to do much on that and I have already got Grafana on my system and once you're done with the installation all you have to do you have to open localhost 3000 okay so that should open your Grafana and next thing what we have to do we have to configure data source to create data source we'll go to settings data source and uh, we'll say add dot data source now we'll find list of uh, time series different kinds of time series database uh, which grafana supports and we are more interested in influx tv right now so we will select this and what we'll do we'll give name to our database okay and now what url we have to connect to we have to connect to influx right so to connect to influx we need to have we um, already installed influx db on our local host and then we know that to con file that this http instance is available on 8086 uh, port so we have to give http local host colon 8086 okay that's it and um, then we created this database in our last lecture right this NOA water database so we'll specify the name of this database over here and then all we have to do is save and test mm. have I given anything wrong okay it seems seems there was a space when i copied okay so you should get this message to verify that data source is connected and uh, once you get this message let's go to create dashboard and to create dashboard we can go over here plus icon and then click on create dashboard right so i'll not type deep into the details of how we can customize and create different kinds of dashboard all we are interested in visualizing this data which we have connected just now what we will select add query okay and all you have to do you have to select in add query this database we just created and now you should be able to get the measurements which we just saw in our last lecture and so we'll select autogen select measurement gives all the measurements available in this database and we'll select any of this measurement we'll select the field which is available and here it is decrease which is available and then we'll remove this okay what does fear give me where location and uh, here they do have this value Santa Monica so this is tag okay this is tag and this is uh, measurement name and this is actual data okay and um, all we have to do is uh, we have to specify timestamp to get the actual data over here so we need to have timestamp which is there and if you will uh, as you have connected this uh, 
db over here with this precision rfc triple three nine we should be able to see what data there is there okay and then we'll see show measurements i just want to have idea about my time range okay and then we'll say select star from h2 o let's go temperature okay so you have this data and if, we, if you see it is some 2019 august data okay so we'll select this time range over here in grafana okay for that we'll go over here i have already verified this range so i'll just quickly select this range and you see i selected this range from 2019 august to 2019 september and it shows me this data now it is up to you how you use grafana customize it and all but i'll not like be going into those details my purpose is to out here what we did we imported to one public database and then we added it as a data source in grafana and here we are able to gra see graph all right that's it for now friends i hope i was able to help you through this lecture don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay tuned and have more such videos and don't forget to visit my website qamilestone.com which talks about more such youtube series wonderful posts and my udemy courses thanks for now